Hello, uh, sentence surgeons. It is time for another sentence this week. I picked a very short one, um, just because I know the Roots video is really long. Um, so the book is called If I Built a School, and we're planning to read that this week. Um, if you look at the sentence, it says, the library is next, so let's have a look. Very short sentence. It does end in a period, so we need to decide, okay, is this a sentence that is just stating something, or is it giving a command? Um, so at first look, some of you might have said, oh, it's just saying something. Actually, this is an imperative. This is a command. So it's not as clear as like, go take out the garbage, walk the dog, things like that. But it does say, let us have a look. And that is commanding that person, that group of people, to go do something with the person who's narrating the sentence. So let's have a look is a phrase that is a command. So we are going to write at the bottom of your page. I did forget to write declarative last week, but we're going to write imperative. And remember that the imp part makes us think of important, and somebody commands, makes a command if it's important. Um, and so you can think of imperative, imp, important, command. Okay. So this sentence is, um, is short, but it's not necessarily just a simple sentence because um, we have a comma and we have a conjunction. So the library is next. That is something somebody could say by themselves, right? They could also say, let's have a look by itself. So this is actually a compound sentence. So I'm actually going to add that at the bottom, compound. Because we focused on simple, complex, and compound sentences. I think it was last week in our Khan Academy assignment. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, it's possible you did not do your Khan, Khan Academy um, work. Or I could just be confused. So... Um, but this is a compound sentence, and we know that because it has has two complete sentences connected with a conjunction. Two complete sentences connected with a conjunction. Because if we think of a compound word, a compound word has two words that could be completely by themselves, but they're combined like foot ball. Foot could be by itself and ball could be by itself, but it can also be put together and be football. All right, so the is an article. It's one of those short words that has a function, but not super duper important. And a right underneath it is also an article. My eyes just went straight down, so I decided, let's go ahead and label it. So we have an article and an article. So then we have libraries. So libraries next. Okay, so what is this sentence asking? We see an apostrophe, and we know an apostrophe, which is right here, either means that this is going to be a contraction, where it's combining um, two sentences, in, uh, two words into one, or it's going to be a possessive word. So it's showing that it owns it. So let's think about that. Is the library owning next? Does the library own next? Or does it say library was next or library is next? Yeah, it's library is next. So this is a conjunction. Uh, oh wait, contraction, I'm sorry. I got them confused for a hot second. Contraction, sorry. Conjunction combines two sentences. A conjunction combines two words. I'm so sorry to confuse you. Oh no! I just made that J in the middle. I am messing it up. Okay, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm at my house. You can see from the floor right here and the like comforter of a bit a bed I'm in my guest room um so I don't have a way to fix that right now so I don't have any white out but just know that the word is contraction which actually we have another contraction right here 
because it's either let owns have, that would be possessive, like it possesses have. Let, does let own have? No, it doesn't. It's meaning let us have. So that is also a contraction. And this is how you spell contraction correctly. So we have C-O-N, then tract, like tractor, and then ion. And that's what we were trying to write over here, but I got confused. So, sorry, spell it like this over here. Hopefully you're using a pencil. Okay, so because we have our contractions, I'm gonna split them up just like I like to do my contractions. I'm gonna circle it though. Um, I drew a line right, but I like to draw the lines on the, apostrophes, but I want to circle them so you guys don't forget that they're there. So library is a word that means it's um, a thing. It's a noun. Now, if I named it like the Bethel Elementary School Library, it would be a proper noun. But in this case, it's just a library, the library. It uses an article in front of it instead of like a, a specific name. So it can just be a common noun. And the apostrophe S was going to be the word is, which is a verb, noun and a verb. So that's the is. All right, the word next. I was having some trouble deciding which one, which part of speech I was going to use for this. I looked it up, actually. Um, and next is describing is. What is it? It's next. So this is an adverb because an adverb describes a verb or an adjective. Um, so if it was describing the library, library, the next library, then it would be an adjective, but it's not describing the library itself. It's describing what's coming next. So I know this one's really confusing as far as why that might be an adverb, so I apologize if I didn't explain it really well, but um, I want you guys to take note of the fact that we have a comma before we use this right here, and that we already discussed for our compound sentence, that it's two complete sentences connected with a conjunction, so not contraction, this time it's a conjunction. So is a conjunction because it is joining the library is next or the library is next and let's have a look. Okay, on let's, we already decided that's a contraction. Let is a verb. And the apostrophe s in this case is supposed to be the word us, which instead of being a verb, like that is is, this one is us. So this is a pronoun because us replaces the names of the people. So instead of saying, so let Artemis, Aston, and Bruce have a look, it says us. It replaces whoever that group of people is. So it's a pronoun. Okay, have is a verb. We already said a was an article and then Look is a, okay, I also had to look at this one. I thought it was a little weird because have a look is actually figurative language. Have a look. We say it so often, we probably didn't even think of it as being figurative language, but it's actually an idiom because you can't own looking at something, right? But here, look is not a verb. It doesn't say, oh, it's just hard for me to explain. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm thinking about how to do this. Okay, um, so it says, a look, a look. I wouldn't say, um, well, Okay, anytime we take a verb, something that you would do as an action, like run or swim, or in this case, look, that's normally an action verb, 
but you put an article in front of it, a whatever that is, it's going to make it a noun. So it's no longer something that somebody's doing. It's, um, it's a noun now. It's a thing that they do, which it's a little hairy and confusing why that makes sense. So if you're a little confused, I don't blame you. Just keep in mind that it has a in front of it. Um, so that kind of can help affect it. But in this case, look is a noun. It's a thing, not just an action. Because in this case, the action is let. Okay. Um, also have, sorry, these two verbs are together. So um, we have two subjects and two predicates. So in the first place, we have the library is next. So in this case, it would be library and is, which is all together. So library is the subject. And then I'm just going to do like an apostrophe S because it's actually, I don't want to write is, but that's what it represents. Library is. Here, I'll put is underneath it. The library. Okay, and here, it's not going to be let us. Us is not a verb, and it's not going to be us let. That doesn't make sense. So, the, ver uh, the subject is going to be us, and what they're doing is have. They're having a look. Okay, all right, I got through this one. Have a great day.